Hello everybody, good afternoon or good morning, depending on what time you're watching this from wherever you are. Um, you're going to get the privilege of watching my interview with Ensign uh, Daniel Dingus of the United States Coast Guard. He uh, spoke to me from his station in Hawaii. And so we did edit down the interview to about a 12 minute clip. Um, he's going to talk to you about the application process to get into the United States Coast Guard Academy. He's going to talk to you about what life is like at the academy while you're there for school and what life is like after the academy. Um, he is now out and starting his first year on the job in Hawaii, um, working on the boats. And so um, you're going to get to enjoy a little bit about what he has to tell you. And at the end, um, we'll meet back up again. So enjoy. And here we go. Originally deciding for me to come to the academy, I didn't know about it till my uncle told me about it because he actually went there. So my junior year, I found out that he went through the academy and didn't go. There's two routes. There's an OCS route, which is more of a direct commission, and then the academy, which is a four-year college. So he told me about it, and I thought it was a good idea because I had no idea where I wanted to go. Uh, I didn't really want to have to pay for college, which was a huge thing is college can be really expensive and the Coast Guard Academy is completely free. You actually get paid to go there. So you make a salary while you're there, which is nice. And then it's a secure job after, so you owe a five-year commitment. But you're owing a five-year commitment as an officer in the Coast Guard, getting paid the whole time. It's really nice. Most of it's untaxed, so you do, you do pretty well. And that's kind of what made me want to go in is that I didn't know what I wanted for my future and I wanted something that was secure, uh, would be good for my family, good for myself, and would really set me up well later in life. Because uh, the Coast Guard Academy is one of the top uh, schools in the nation for engineering and management. We're a top uh, 15 engineering program in the country for mechanical and electrical engineering. Our civil is top 20. And then... Uh, as far as our management, we're ranked in the top 100 in the country. So super excited to go there. I knew I was going to get a good education and really move forward. All right. Um, as far as applying to the academy goes, so as far as applying to the academy goes, uh, it's a fairly long process. You want to get started relatively early in your junior year junior or senior year, you want to look at it your junior year, but senior year applications kind of have to be in by December. Uh, they're pretty long and extensive, but what sets us apart from the other academies is you don't need a congressional or presidential nomination, so it takes a lot of the political aspects out of it because those can be very tough to get. So here it's all just your application and then you have an optional interview. I highly recommend doing it if you want to go. Uh, also, I recommend doing visits. They have summer programs like uh, AIM, where you go in and spend, I think it's three weeks in the summer at the academy learning what it's like, and that'll be junior year going into senior year. You can just apply online. It's right on the website. super easy to get to, and it's a really good time. I enjoyed it when I went. All right, so once you're at the academy, that's where things get interesting. So you start off with like a seven weeks, it's called Swab Summer. And I'm not going to lie to you, it's not the most enjoyable time. It's basically boot camp, but you get really close with the people there. Uh, you're put through the ringer. So it's tough physically, mentally, seven weeks of just going at it, like learning everything about the military you can. But once it's over, it's super rewarding and you go into your first year at the academy. Uh, the academy can be super tough. Uh, when I was there, I took 23 credits a semester. So I was constantly busy. On top of that, I played Division three football there. And we had a lot of two- and three-sport athletes there, too. So it's cap you're capable of doing multiple sports. Uh, that's another big draw to the academy is we have a lot of sports anywhere from D3 to D1, depending on what you're looking to do. So we have the one of the top five uh, – Rifle and pistol teams in the nation, our rowing team competes D1, our sailing team is number one in the nation most years. Uh, we actually have someone in the Olympics this year, well not this year, but she just made 
the Olympic team. So we'll be seeing her. Uh, and it's just super nice to go through there. A lot of good sports opportunities, different things. Our wrestling program is top 10 in the nation every year. Lacrosse is top 10 in the nation every year. So we're very good, very competitive, and it's a great place if you're looking for somewhere. And you might not be at the D1 level for some of them, but the coaches are great. They'll help get you in. They'll teach you through the whole process. So I highly recommend going through if you want to if you want to look at pursuing sports in college, it's a great option where maybe you're not getting the D1 scholarships that you were looking for, but you want to have something that secures you for the future. And you still have the option if you're good enough to go pro from the academy. Because we've had people go Olympics, uh, people try for pro NFL teams, baseball teams, uh, all sorts of options. So they're not going to hold you to your commitment if you're able to uh, – to go to the pros, which is super nice. And we also have a thing where in two years in the academy, if you decide you want to get out, it's not for you. Completely okay. You walk away. You don't owe anything. There's no five-year commitment after. It's just you don't sign the papers and you're good to go. If you do choose to stay, super awesome route. Uh, you're signing on for five years after the academy. And this is, this is great. Like You get to go all over the world. We have people in Bahrain, Hawaii, Alaska. Uh, we send people over to Asia all the time to work, different things, people in Spain. Uh, tons of programs just all over the country and then the continental U.S., obviously around the coast, doing missions like law enforcement, drug interdiction, search and rescue, AIDS navigation, uh, just security missions. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do. And then we have our engineering side. We can go be a civil engineer, electrical engineer, things like that. So it's super, there's a ton of great options coming out. Uh, some of the best parts about the academy when you're in there, though, is you're going to get super close. There's about 200 to 300 people per class. So you're super close with everyone in your class. The school altogether has around 1,200 uh, it's a really tight-knit community. You're going to know everyone. Like, they're going to help you for the rest of your career. I can still reach out to any one of my classmates for anything I need in life um, as you go through. I have some of the best friends I ever made there. Most of them will be in my wedding one day. Not married yet, but one day. So it's just a really great option. Um, coming out of the academy with your five years, you're going to do huge things like so much more than I ever thought I just took uh, my cutter back from uh, Baltimore we sailed all the way down through the Panama Canal up to Mexico and then across the Pacific to Hawaii and then this summer we're heading down to American Samoa Guam Fiji uh, Tonga and all there to do a two-month patrol down there of law enforcement so it's gonna be amazing going down there all that we just had a, a cutter in japan for five months and they had a great time there a uh, little bit of an accident that they ended up there but they had they had a blast so there's tons of opportunities if you're looking to travel that was another big reason i got in the traveling i don't want to just be stuck in my same old small town or wherever you're at like your whole life it's nice to be able to get out go places and have a job that wants to like lead you on in life. Everyone's super supportive in the Coast Guard. They want to get you going. And if you're looking at other branches of the military, we differ because we're not we're not in the DOD, so the Department of Defense. We're actually in Department of Homeland Security. So you're not as worried about getting sent overseas to go to war if that's not something you want to do. We do have the options to go to Bahrain. Uh, we have special tactical units you can join too if that's what you're looking for. But it's really great if you want to be a part of the military and the military community, but you're not looking to deploy to Afghanistan or Iraq or somewhere like that. So it's great job security. I love it here. I've been having a blast. Uh, my command's super nice, and I can't say anything more about it. It's, it's just a really great option. Uh, it's pretty tough to get in. I'm going to say you can get in with lower, but pretty much the bottom line threshold is like a 3.5 GPA, and 
like a 28 ACT, I'd say two part SAT, 1300 or more. Uh, this isn't like, you can, I know people that are in below, it just depends on what you do in other walks of life. So extracurriculars are huge. The more clubs you're in, the more different things you do, the more humanitarian projects, all better. Uh, but the biggest thing that a lot of people don't do that I highly recommend is the interview. The interview is kind of a make or break thing. It's optional at the academy, but my interview is actually part of what got me in. Uh, if you can sit down and have a real solid interview in person with a uh, it's usually in 06, so someone that's been in the Coast Guard for 20 plus years. You'll sit down, tell them why you want to go, about yourself, and everything. They'll write huge recommendations and can usually push you in. So there's that route, and then there's also the sports route. Uh, sports coaches can help get you in, and this isn't just like the main sports. It's not like you have to play football or you have to play lacrosse or something like that. Like every sport has an allotment that they get where they can, if you meet the minimum standards, they can push for you and get you in. And coaches each have, well, depending on the sport, a couple options to say, I want this kid. And you can bypass like some of the options. So definitely reach out to the coaches if you want to. Uh, all their names are on the main website. Just search Coast Guard Academy and they'll all pop up. Reach out to them, send them your film, send them whatever you want to do. Uh, and they're a really helpful resource to get in. But I highly recommend working on like ACT, SAT, keeping your grades up, and then just joining clubs that you're interested in. I wouldn't say like do a ton of clubs that you don't care about because they're gonna know if you don't care. Like it shows that you're just if you're just in a hundred clubs that no one wants. Like like just pick a few that you're good at and talk about it in your essays. Like make it sound good make it sound passionate. We want passion. We want people that want to be there, that want to do good in the world. Like, that's what they're looking for. We have somebody later in the year that will be able to speak to specific questions that we're going to have. Going to the academy and that process of getting into the academy itself, I mean, that's really helpful for, for students to kind of realize what all goes into that. You can see at the end of the interview, there was a little lag. He is calling from Hawaii, and so I edited the last of that interview to stop there. Um, but I wanted you to, you know, just understand that he did a great job of explaining um, the application process, what's involved, how to start getting yourself ready if it's something you think that you might be interested in doing um, as an alternative to college. Um, it is something you're going to want to start thinking about, you know, probably your freshman year in high school. Um, by your junior year in high school, you're going to have to start going through some of the steps. Um, so you do kind of need to be, you know, prepared ahead of time for what's going to be involved. Um, and again, he, he did a great job explaining what life is like once you get into the academy. And afterwards, like I said, he's, he's pretty much having the time of his life right now. And he's going to get to travel to some really beautiful places in the world. So I really appreciated him taking the time to talk with us. And um, we'll be able to talk to him again and ask him some questions. So if anybody um, does want to know any specific information, we will make sure to get his email information out to you. So thanks for watching and have